on the sand. Would you please make a welcome, Kerry Potas, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah, Kerry. Hi. I'm very well, thanks. Well, the whole entire crew here at Fox Sports were just saying how healthy you look. Oh, it must be the tan, you know. Sun's, it's a great time for you. come out and Manly Beach is going off mm. and, yeah, it's beautiful down there. You must love the summer down here in Australia. Oh, I love it. It's, I mean, Australia's just the best place to be right now, but always. I mean, we travel all over the world. We go to beaches in Rio de Janeiro and um, California on the, the uh, west coast there and come back to Australia and just go, oh, it's just so much better here. Yeah. It's beautiful. Where's the weirdest place you've ever played? Where's the craziest beach? The craziest beach? Well, we've played in car parks. Really? We've played in tennis centres where they've just, you know, trucked the sand in. Um, probably the weirdest place was a car park in Brazil. Mm -hmm. This big car park and they built... Was it built... a good looking car park? Oh, yeah. Did you win? <laughs> uh, we won a few games, but they built like a 5,000 seat stadium yeah. around the sand. So it's amazing where they put them. It is on the rise and rise. We are just talking before coming on air, uh, on air. You know, you can go down to Manly Beach here in Sydney and the courts are full from sun up to sun down. Absolutely. It's just going off. And um, my boyfriend, Victor, and I have actually just started a Sydney Beach volleyball school. So we're actually really? down What's there the all the time. What's your telephone number for that, Kerry? Ah, 9949 8570. No, we're actually uh, doing courses and, yep. and clinics for for everyone from say 10, 12 year olds all the way through to 50, 60, however, you know, however old you want to be and get down there and run around and get fit, mm. play the game. Active Australia Day today, you're down at the beach at Manly. Yeah, that's right. Court. That's right. I'm also an ambassador for mm -hmm. Active Australia Day and today we set up a court down at Manly. We had people come and try and uh, it's all about participating and feeling great and just getting out there and having a go and, you know, getting out from in front of the television. <laughs> Watching not, Fox just Sports. not just yet. Not just yet. Everybody at home, not yet. You have to stay here for Kerry's interview. <laughs> and what about, uh, did you ever think you'd make such an impact at the Sydney Games, uh, winning the Olympic gold medal there and what it's done to beach volleyball in Australia? Did you ever think your impact um, would be so huge? It's funny because part of the lead up to the Games, Natalie and I had to believe that we were going to win a gold medal in our own minds and in our, in our own hearts. And we, we sort of pictured everything that we had to do. We pictured um, the games, we pictured the finals, we pictured standing on the podium, the whole lot. It was all part of our preparation. But never did I really think what, was, what it was going to be like. Like, I mean, every day people still recognise us and, you know, people hang out of the cars and, you know, whistle at us and go, girls, you know, beach volleyball or Kerry, they all know our names. Is that when you're on the beach in the bikinis? So no, she... I'm in normal clothes. They still <laughs> recognise me. <laughs> no, it's fantastic. How's your training been? Um, pretty lacklustre yeah. recently. We've had a, a big break yeah. uh, since the Goodwill Games. It's been about two months. And... Um, just getting back into it now. We're playing a tournament next weekend in Noosa, actually. Um, and, yeah, it's difficult getting back into it when you're having a break. It's the first break we've had for yep. ages. Well, you came back for the Goodwill Games. Yep. And you got yourself into some good shape there. Are you disappointed with the Goodwill, Goodwill Games? Are you happy with the result? Um, well, we had trouble. I mean, at the beginning of the year, we beat the Brazilians that, um, that we beat in the Olympic final in Sydney. So we beat them twice in two tournaments. We got a first place and a second place. And then at the third tournament for the year, Natalie injured a quad. She's, you can see in the footage there, she's got a, um, a warming thing on her, on her leg. Yep. Yay! We won that game. Yeah, that was the Italians in quarterfinals. Yeah, that was the quarterfinal, I think. That got us into the top four. Did you think it was a tough tournament? Um, it was a tough tournament because we had all the teams from the World Tour that we normally play against there. So for us, it was just like another World Tour event. We played about 10 of those this year, mm. everywhere. Europe, Asia, um, South America actually is coming up in a couple of weeks and Natalie and I have decided not to go. Okay. Simply because we want to have a break. Mm. I mean, it, it's you need to get a six, recharge. seven years now. We've just been going summer after summer, back to back. So we really haven't had much well, of a The Brazilians break. be happy not to see you. You, well, you guys actually, are just touring the world. I know. Fighting it out for every title against the two. Brazilian girls. It's I a know, great grudge match. It's funny, we haven't actually played in Brazil since the Olympics and okay. we got a, a, a dirty email from our international federation saying, you know, why aren't they coming? It's the second year in a row. But yeah. we've sort of said, because they want to see us down yeah, there. Yeah, everyone wants a rematch. Of exactly. Um, and we might be doing going there for a special rematch, just a one off match in March, I think it is. We're trying to organise something. but. But even the, the Brazilian team you see now, they won this tournament. That's not the team that we that won the gold medal. That's, That's a completely right. new team. Is it Australia versus <laughs> Brazil in everything we do? Um, Beach volleyball-wise? 
Brazil, Australia and, and the United States are the mm. top three countries, but all the other countries in Europe now, they're all catching up. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, by 2004, there'll probably be another couple of countries that are, that are on the top and we'll be all battling it out for, yeah, for medals why there. Is it? Why, why are they all coming across? Is it just because you, you're that much more glamorous <laughs> than uh, the indoor stuff? Um, well, we still find there's a lot of really good indoor players that don't want to play on the beach, right. but and that we'd love to have out on Are the they beach. Are they antisocial? They just don't want to play yeah, on the beach. They, I think they realise how tough it is because okay. indoors you've got six on six. They can't handle the sand. No, they're wusses. The sand in the cozies <laughs> can't handle it. Don't yeah. like it. How do you handle the sand in the cozies? Um, well, you just sort of shake, yeah. shake your booty a bit, dunk, and you know, out well, it comes. <laughs> how, do you, how do you go with training with Nat? Um, most up in Queensland as well. Yeah, well, Nat lives in Queensland. I live in Sydney. How um, does that work? Good. <laughs> <laughs> Not so many fights. Exactly. No, we travel together all the time. Yeah. Um, when we have to prepare for a big tournament, in the past I've been going up to Queensland and training, training up there with the Queensland Institute of um, Sport, mm -hmm. or, sorry, Queensland Academy of Sport, the QAS. Mm -hmm. um, but I've sort of said to Nat, look, if you want to keep playing with me, I've been doing that now for a few years, you've got to come to Sydney. So. How's, she like, how's she like the big smoke? Uh, she likes it here, but I think she you know, feels more comfortable up do there. Think, so. Do you think that whole technique of of her being interstate as, as well as yourself has always keeps you fresh rather than sort of going through endless training sessions and being flat for a tournament Definitely. because yeah. you're going to get it together rarely well that's right i mean i think me having to go away for me it makes me go away with a purpose and i go up to queensland and i train with nat and i'm there for a reason mm -hmm. so i put everything into while while i'm there you know 100 percent into training i make sure i'm i'm always early you know doing extra fitness work gets done. Mm. When I'm at home, I get distracted, you know, the phone rings, whatever. Oh, oh, half an hour phone call later. Oh, it's too late, the gym will be closed. That's you know? right, can't go to, can't go to train, get a gym bit lazy. is closed. Oh, we're talking to Braithen Astor just before uh, you came on and I asked him, does he set goals? Do you set goals, even All though you've time. attained so much? Well, definitely, after the Olympics, I mean, in my whole volleyball career, I've been playing volleyball for nearly, I think, 18 years, indoor and then beach, always set goals. Um, one of my goals when I wrecked my knee in 1992 was to make the Olympics in beach volleyball. And I hadn't even really started playing beach volleyball. So, and then obviously when we won a bronze medal in Atlanta, the next goal was, look, you know, we have to win a gold medal. That, there's nothing short of that. Um, and then after winning the gold medal, it was like, well, what now? I know. Um, Where's but, the next Everest? <laughs> 